Hey y'all, I'm Anna the Artiste and welcome to the Halloween Makeup Challenge. Today our look is going to be based on the movie Hocus Pocus and I'm going to become the I've already done a little bit of prep work because I was a good little content creator this time. So I'm gonna walk you through what all I've done. I used wax paper that was coated in cooking spray and used my Sherbonder glue gun to create the patterns of the Hocus Pocus book stitches, snakes, and eye hole. I then peeled everything off carefully, noting that I did still get some tearing in my wax paper, but with the cooking spray, it does peel off a little bit easier. I painted them using an alcohol palette from Real Creations. These are great and fairly easy to use as they operate a lot like watercolor, except they're activated by rubbing alcohol. They don't really smudge off. And as I found out in one of my most recent productions, the alcohol colors stick to hot glue really well. I used my glue pieces to create a pattern for myself that I would use to create a stencil for my final pieces that I'll be attaching to my skin and to my face. Since I want to have the book come up off of my face in sort of a three-dimensional makeup design, I'm going to use a construction paper piece for part of it and then paint the remainder onto my face. I used my stencil I created out of another sheet of construction paper to create a fitting stencil so I wouldn't have to just come up with my book shape out of the blue. I traced around my cutting stencil with a concealer stick, which gives me a good border that I can blend away easily at the end. So now that you're all caught up, we are going to get started on our Hocus Pocus book makeup, which I am so excited about. What I've already done here is I've soaked and started to block out my brow. Now soaping brows, there's tons of videos all over YouTube on how to do this, but essentially you're using the soap as a light sort of gel glue to paste down your brow hairs. It's a little bit of an easier and quicker way to do um, a sort of blocked brow effect than using Elmer's glue, I find. Um, it's a little bit less hardcore as well, so it might not hold up as long or be as good for people who have really, really dense brow hairs. I've gone on, I've soaked my brows, I've covered one of them with thick orange color corrector to start to neutralize out the darkness of my brow color and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side for the portion of my brow that I'm going to want to block out. I've seen some people use a matte liquid lipstick for this. I've seen some people use creams. I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. I'm gonna give this a pretty thorough powdering. I'm gonna really pack it on with a sponge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how well that just worked. Oh my God, y'all, I just discovered my new eyebrow blocking method. Oh my God, that's crazy. I just used the Rejuva Minerals Pressed Powder Foundation Powder over the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. That is just those two colors and my eyebrow being blocked out. That is crazy. For a little bit of extra coverage and just to kind of experiment, I'm going to go over with a little swipe of my Cover Maestro, which is by Misha Cosmetics. All right, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. That sponge picked up my product a little bit more than I would have wanted it to. So back to fingers. Fingers never fail. I don't even really need to do a brow block for this. I just felt like being a little extra, but I'm really glad I did. I'm just doing a partial block on this side. I'm gonna do a little bit of a character makeup on one side in juxtaposition to my book makeup. Badoom! Oh my God, that is crazy. All right, so now that you're all caught up, we're going to dive right into our book makeup. I took a little bit of my tried and true Golden Paints High Flow Acrylics. Today I used the Burnt Sienna and the Titan Buff. I'm going to apply those inside of my stencil shape with a regular old face painting brush. 
This is Prosade, which is a water-based prosthetic adhesive. It's a contact adhesive, which means that you apply it onto both the object that you're sticking to and the object that is sticking. And then you wait for both sides to dry up a little bit and it applies and attaches on contact. So I'm starting off by applying Prosade onto the areas that I know I want my paper to stick to that overlaps with my painted area. So next I'm going to go on and attach all of my little glue parts and then futz with the color more to get it to where I want it to be. Just slapping my prosade on. Alright y'all, time for snakes! Oh yeah, that's awesome! Oh my god, this is amazing. I have made more of a mess on my table for this look than for any other look I've ever done. This is ridiculous. I'm going to use a little bit of my Golden High Flow Acrylic and Titan Buff to just really make these stitches stand out a little bit more. Could have stopped here, but I never knew when to stop. So I'm going to do a bit of a Winifred Sanderson cosplay look on this side of my face. I'm gonna need a good eyebrow. Very witchy, very witchy eyebrow. I'm gonna use a little bit of my white sugar pill pressed eyeshadow. So for Winifred Sanderson, we need to really, really lighten up the corners of the lips and then just draw on a little purse mouth shape. Okay, for my quick witch, I'm just gonna pop some lashes on, one on top, one on bottom. And we're gonna do a little bit of a Sanderson sister blush here. Whoop, my darling, come back. <laughs> I want my book. <laughs> Another glorious morning. Makes me sick. <gasps> Thank you so much for joining me to make this look. I absolutely love the movie Hocus Pocus. I was super excited to take on this version of it. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and comment below with any additional Halloween, spooky, or autumnal themes that you want me to try out. Also make sure to find me on Instagram and TikTok at Anna the Artiste. Thank you so much. Have a good one. <laughs> do, 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 do. And like...